Before I then decided to rather pull out of the runoff election because his people were dying and innocent people were busy dying. So Changarai pulled out of it in the last, basically the last few days before the election was supposed to be. And Mugabe said, well, you, the election is still going on. So in other words, there was only, on the ballot paper, there were two people you could vote for, but theoretically there was only one. Wow. So then what he did is he went and sent his army into the township, into the locations, and checked, you know, like when you go vote, they spray paint your finger or whatever story, so right. you can't go vote, vote twice. They sent the, the police in to check all the people and see if they voted or not, because you have to have a certain percentage of your population voting for it to become a legal vote. So then they just had to go to the polls, otherwise they said they were, they were told that they were going to get killed if they don't do it. So the people just went to the polls and had to vote for obviously only one person. So what happened is even if a person voted for Changarai on that runoff election, Mugabe would have still won in any case because all he needed was one vote, which he could have done for himself. Wow. Because Changarai would have been on. But he needed to have a certain percentage of the population going to vote. Sadak, which is, like I said, the, the council had run to the different. Then, now they've just come, then they went into peace-talking deals and all these power-sharing deals, as they call it. And they've been talking for a little while and then they finally came up with it that Morgan Chagrai is going to become the Prime Minister of the country. But rumours say that the reason why the peace-talking took so long, or these negotiations took so long to discuss, is Mugabe, they say, is the richest person in Africa. Really? And it's just any money left, right and centre, taking all the taxpayers' money, you name it. Anything you can get his hands on, he takes. So, uh, what he's, they, the rumours are that he's been offering Mr. Changarai financial things to keep oh, quiet. Oh, to get him out. Yeah. So, all that's happened is they think that Mr. Changarai has accepted the uh, the bribe, in other words, from him, just to say, yes, I'll be Prime Minister, but to shut up. Wow. He's been President for 26 years.